right, so uh, so I'm going to attempt to clean my injectors here. Uh, if you look on an ISX, at least 870, that's your uh, that's your outlet line, your return, and up here off of this filter, or unless you have one of those glass top or plastic top filters, uh, that's your inlet. I have the line right on into the inlet. Uh, now this inlet, I went to the junkyard and cut one off because uh, they like clip on. Now these clips, luckily mine didn't break, but the ones in the junkyard did. Uh, if you have to, I'll zoom in here. You take two zip ties on each side, you zip tie it, and then put a zip tie in the middle, and that ain't going, that ain't going nowhere. It fits pretty snug anyway because there's a no ring in those connectors. Let me show you a connector here. See the one in the junkyard actually had zip tie on it. There's an O-ring. I mean, they sit pretty snug, but you just take two zip ties, one on each side, and a zip tie in the middle, and it holds the connector there. They get so fragile and brittle and break all the time. I just got two connectors uh, to make it easier on me. Uh, now, what I got in here is like two about two gallons of kerosene, and then I got two bottles of diesel clean, two bottles of uh, two quarts of ATF, and. Uh, Seafoam, which works on everything. Now, I know all over the internet it says stuff will break your injectors if you have H-I-E-M-E -E or some crap injectors, but you know what? At this at this matter of time, I don't know. It don't really matter to me right now. So, it's going to probably either need new injectors or, uh, or this is going to clean some of them out and it's going to work. I think it's only one injector is hanging up somewhere right around 1,500 RPM. So, we're going to fire her up. I have to prime the pump here a few times. I already warmed her up with diesel that was in the tank, so she's already warmed up. Come in here. I'm gonna rev her up a bit. I'm put something underneath the. Let's see if you guys can hear that clacking noise first. And I know it's the injector because if I start playing around with the, uh, the solenoids over here. Got her about 1400 RPM. See if we can't get that noise to go away. I'll be back, I guess. I'll bring this back on, and hopefully, here in about an hour or so, I ain't gonna, gonna have no uh, injector tapping anymore. So we'll see. Well, um, yeah, so if you looked at the last video of the injector cleaner, um, I really thought that was going to work. Now, most likely it's a 50-50 shot, but it, it didn't work. Um, now I'm starting to think maybe I have a bad fuel pump. If I, uh, if I s squeeze off the return line at... You know at 1500 rpm or just about or 1400 rpm where i get the the knock the fuel knock it goes away so when you squeeze off the the uh return line you you know you shock the injectors you raise the fuel pressure up so what i'm kind of maybe wondering is maybe i have a fuel pump problem because so far i think two or three times I've started the truck up in the morning, had it run for about 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes, and gone gone up the hill here to come out of the yard. 
and the truck just shuts off. It'll sputter and shut off. And what I thought was maybe happening is maybe where I was sitting at, because it's a very slight hill, thought maybe the fuel's going over to one tank. But last time it happened, I immediately got out and checked both tanks, and I had fuel in both tanks. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe the fuel pump, the fuel pump's going bad. Uh, that's, that's a possibility. Low fuel pressure will cause a fuel knock too, because this doesn't sound sound like the knock I had when when the one injector went out when the one injector went out man it was it was knocking like good it's more like a tap and uh and you know it's gone off and on off and on and now it's you know it's here again and I figured maybe I had a dirty injector or whatnot so I figured I'd try to clean them and see if that you know that cleaned it up and uh I think the sound might have changed a little bit the, the tap's not as pronounced but it's still there but like I said, if I if I pinch off the return line, the the tap or the knock just goes away, disappears. So I'm gonna try to get a fuel gauge um, on it. I'll either that or I'm gonna try this other shop that I've worked with and see if they can get it in. Um, it's like everywhere I've gone to now, they're just they're busy. And uh, they just don't have time for, you know, I guess also they might know that I'm trying to fix this myself. That might be a problem too. Because cause if, it's, if it's an injector, I'm going to try to replace the injectors myself. Um, I'll just have to pull the rockers off and, um, and do it and learn how to do this myself. Uh, yeah, because I'm just, I'm just so tired of wasting money on problems and, and the problems still be there. So... But that's it. That's my update on the uh, fuel injection cleaning. I mean, uh, you know, if you have dirt, if you have a problem with the injector, I would try that first and just see, you know, let it run. Let it run, maybe rev it up a few times, uh, turn it off, let it sit, let the uh, injectors like um, hot bake in the, uh, you know, the solution I showed you. And, uh, you know, see if it cleans the injectors up. It's worth a shot. Uh, I've done it before on, uh, on a 3406B cat. So, you know, it's we'll see what we'll see how it goes. Um, maybe I'll go take the truck up there and run it for a little bit, and you know, maybe it'll go away. But I'm I'm kind of starting to lean to maybe maybe a fuel pump issue. So, so that's it for now. That's that's uh, glorious, glorious uh, tried and true tributes of being an owner operator. So, all right, I'll see you guys.